for once. Can you be on my side? Not now. Check my mind, dog. Not ever. <laughs> These days, kids know Joe Marie Payton as Sugar Mama from The Proud Family, but back in the late 80s and early 90s, she was part of the TGIF block of hit sitcoms as the mom on Family Matters. Now she's back on TV with the highly anticipated return of The Proud Family, 17 years after the first series wrapped up. Joe Marie joins us this morning. So nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Who am I speaking to? I know I got Dean, Dane, and Robin, right? Oh, well, right. yes, exactly. Yes, yes. You've got it all. <laughs> We're interchangeable uh, <laughs> over here on this. Uh, hey, before we talk about the return of the Proud family, can, can we just talk about family matters for a second? How life changing that must have been for you back in the day? It was. It was very life changing for me. It was the. Um, well, it was the second, but the first biggest job, real job, job, job I had in my uh, in my career. It wasn't called a perfect stranger, so perfect strangers really was the, the catapulting, you know, energy for it. And uh, but uh, it, it was wonderful. But it was the first time that I put together I was put together with a complete family, you know, in uh, my all of my years of being in the business. I had a complete family, a husband and. A, and my kids and my sister and the nephew and then my mother-in-law, everybody was in the same house. And, uh, but it was wonderful, it was a wonderful it, experience. Yeah, it truly became one of the most popular television shows uh, in uh, America. I mean, that, that must have been incredible to, you know, go from being a spinoff show to suddenly becoming one of the biggest uh, in the country. And it, really not just in this country, all over the world. You know, Family Matters is still airing all over the world. I know that for a fact. <laughs> and uh, but uh, and it's never been off TV. So, you you know, the people still love this show for the messages that it gives, for the love that it shows, for the funny that it had. And, and, I, and, uh, and all of the characters, you know, we were a great ensemble cast, you know. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm happy and, and I'm uh, respectful of it. And I appreciate it. Yeah, is it true? I, I read on the internet this morning. I know th things on the internet are not always true. That uh, the Steve Urkel character mm -hmm. was supposed to be a one-time uh, shot and was so popular that uh, he stayed on the show and became one of the primary characters on the show. He, he did become the primary character on the show, but you know what happens in life? It happened with Fonzie on Happy Days. I went in to do Perfect Strangers oh, yeah. to guarantee half of the shows I did. I did almost all of the shows for two years. You know, I went in to do Will and Grace. I did one, I did five. Silver Spoons, I did one, I did five. It happens. Yeah. You know, you pop out of people's shows. And uh, it, wasn't nothing, it was nothing that was miraculous that, that he did. Of course, you know, we, we, had, we, were, we were there and, and we had gotten a pickup and he came along. And, you know, I explained it like this. We were a good soup boiling and we had a lot of good spice in there. Yeah. And sometimes I need to add a little extra salt. He was that he made it taste better than what it always was. But it was a good soup already. It just tastes a little better with a little salt in there. Yeah. <laughs> so it was nothing they did miraculous. I jumped, I, I jumped out of Perfect Strangers. He jumped out of Family Matters. It happens. If they had done a reboot, it probably would have been Walter that jumped out of Family Matters because he became very popular. Right. And also, it happens. It's, it's a it, Speaking of reboots, Proud so Family I, is I, back. I, I can't stop. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I think our, our signal's cutting back and forth. So talk about the Proud family. I mean, this has been 17 years later, it's coming back. I mean, this is just totally, it's fan driven, isn't it? The people have really connected with those characters. Let me tell you how it's fan driven. When we got noticed that, you know, they were going in and proposing, you know, to see if we could get it back up. And uh, I started investigating, and when I went online, I had no idea all that love was out there. That those kids in schools and different organizations, and you go back now, and I'm saying, oh my God, I didn't know all this was going on, and how much these people love this show, and these characters, and these kids were dressing up, and adults, it was, it was phenomenal is what it was. So it was a pleasure to jump back in there, and it felt like we never left. Everybody was still available, everybody sounded the same, the energy was still good, and, just like it is now, it's still good energy, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm so pleased that it's going well. That's so great. And Sugar Mama is the, it has a whole backstory episode this time, right? So we learned more about her backstory. 
Yeah, I'm loving that you guys are going to find out a little bit more about Sugar outside of the fact that she always telling people off, you know, and putting people <laughs> in their place. And uh, but yeah, you get a chance to to go back and see where she came from and and uh, part of her makeup, you know, as as a person. So I, I don't want to spoil it all for you, but you all saw the episode and she's crying. You know, it's a big tear. I, I shed a tear when I saw the episode myself because it touched my heart, and I, I know what it is. I, I know what the story is, and it touched my heart, and I hope it touched you guys' heart also to know a little bit more about Sugar Mama. The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, streaming on Disney. And a real pleasure to talk to you, Joe Marie Payton. Thank you so much for joining us. Nice to see you. Debuts on Wednesday, by the way. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Much love, okay? Take care.